That was Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell. Uh, I'm Alan Partridge. Uh, that, that's complains. not that's the name of the programme. It's also I'm also actually telling you that I'm Alan Partridge because uh, I'm doing a voiceover. And I'm Lynn. I'm Lynn Benjamin. Traffic congestion on the outskirts of Paradise. Yes, uh, she's, she's, Joni yeah, that's not the name fails of the programme. There's no confusion there. Perhaps because it doesn't quite fit <sighs> with her blinkered view of the world. Uh, nevertheless, nice song. It's 4.35am. Yeah. You're listening to <laughs> The Partridge. There's your clock. Sorry? There's your clock. Yeah, yes. And now it's time for Alan's facts of the day. Crab yeah. sticks do not actually contain any crab. And from 1993, manufacturers have been legally obliged to label them crab-flavoured sticks. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Same time tomorrow. The, uh, mm. so the Radio Norwich logo is uh, Best music. very popular. Silence Smashing. Yeah. The Electric Light Orchestra. <laughs> Yes. Uh, this uh, they're, they're, this signature is actually my signature. Um, I only I only I wrote it once on the uh, I wrote it once on a computer, and they used it to. Uh, they, you know, I didn't, it's not my actual signature. I don't use my uh, check signature because obviously anyone uh, anyone could copy that signature and reproduce it on a higher purchase agreement or uh, a standing order. Going up like that. Yeah, no, it wouldn't look silly, then. It'd just be. It would just be. I'd be open to fraudulent abuse. Scum, subhuman scum. Oh, there, there he is. Oh. Dave Clifton, he's uh, he's a nice man, but damaged. I think he should wear a tie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Mm. That was a very good car, the Rover 800. It had a, such a bad press, and uh, it really was. Uh, Unfortunately, it depreciated very badly. I think I paid £22,000 for that, mm. and I sold it for four. Mm. So that's a net loss of 18. Well, I, I don't think you looked after it properly, Alan. No, it's not, it, 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 it was because it was replaced by a, a new model, the 75. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Like the, uh, like those earrings, are they gold? Yes, they're old gold. Yeah. Well, that's not really gold, is it? But, uh, very nice. Nice smile. Like, like little tears, little yeah. tears dripping mm. from your ears because they're sad. Yeah. Don't cry ears, you're on the side of a lovely head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A good show this morning? There was a belter, do you hear it? No. Do you know what? Tie, look. Any look. Yeah. The tie takes me back. Do you, uh... Your mother chose that. That's right, yeah. Yeah. God rest her soul. Mm. Unless she's not dead, but she's quite you know, unwell. Yeah. Well, I visited her, Alan, last yeah. week. Um, I know. Do you know what DVD stands for, then? Yes, I do. Are you going back to your wife? No, no, God can't. Yes, I do. Really? She's mm. uh, living with uh, the fitness instructor. He, he, uh, he provides all her uh, sexual uh, intercourse. <laughs> Go on then. What, go on then. What does it stand for? Digital video disc. Digital video disc. Mm. <laughs> digital digital video disc. <laughs> it's digital versatile disc. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That I'll dine out on that one. Digital video disc. Unbelievable. Uh, this is a versatile disc. Look at her necklace. The, uh, Very strange. V doesn't always V doesn't always have to stand for video. You know. It's versatile because because um. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean that's because it is versatile. Tossa. Hmm? Yeah. That was very rude. That was that was rude. Mm. She's um. It's funny she's uh. She's done very well as, uh, because of course, just to let people know, it gets people confused. Mm. Mm. These, the events you're seeing, it's not very professional either. I mean, she's clearly mm. laughing there. No, caught um, in Yeah. Which, I mean, she's not. Has got some rude graffiti. You see, she mm. seems. What, in the hotel? No, no, God, there's, there's never any graffiti in the hotel. Just to let people know, these were real events mm. depicted. That's um, right. By. By actors, uh, apart from apart from myself and uh, and Yulin, we me. 
ourselves. Yeah, we played ourselves. Well, here she comes again. Oh, she, she goes, goes again. She's not. She's not good, is she? I mean. No. Yes, she is. Yeah. You can see that. I'm actually driving out in an obscene publication. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard. Or bitch, might be a lady. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. Live enough for a fag. Don't worry about your car, Alan. I'll get Michael to sort it out for you. It's a very good look, that. Um, mm. Morning, Miss Bartlett. Yeah, Mr. Michael, Michael, I was just saying to uh, Susan, a uh, bit of a job for you. Uh, unfortunately, some vandals have sworn all over my car again. Vandals, eh, Miss Bartlett? You know, makes a wonder what's all the boot. The boot? Hi, you know, vandals, you know. What, what is it all about? Oh, about. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to understand the, uh, the Geordie people. <laughs> you know... What I reckon is that if they had themselves proper jobs, they wouldn't be up to all this, you know, larking every night. What? <laughs> mm. Yeah, he, it's, he... His diction was... His diction was poor, and I think poor. that's that's the way of the BBC these days. It seems unless you come from a region yeah. and you use it yeah. and your accent... I mean, the Welsh seem to be taken over. First it was the Scotch. Mm. There's a lot of Scotch people getting onto the airwaves. Mm. And uh, speaking frankly, unclearly, I'm nothing against a Scotch accent. I thought Sean Connery was an excellent... Uh, I, d I don't like actor. that bird to his sound at all. But, but I, uh, told, I told that actor to go for, go for diction. Well, he should have gone for, for, for diction lessons. It was very rude. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a predilection that's... Uh, there's a predilection uh, at the, certainly at the BBC for using people. I think they think it satisfies people to hear, to hear people, you know, with accents and... Uh, yes. Yes. You know, the, rather than you and me, they've got. There's, I mean, there's a Welsh man reads the news now. You know, which is ridiculous, really, when you think about yes. it. Yes, you know. it is ridiculous. Um, Hugh, 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 Edward, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. I just told you. Hugh, Hugh Jones. Yeah. Idea for a program, uh, Lady Shapes with Alan Partridge. Dictaphones, of course, have been replaced by uh, Solid State. Solid State. Um, um, what? Yeah, um, oh, they're called the. Um, a palm. Say, on organisers. Right. The, um, which right. you can. Uh, palm pilots, where, which have solid state recording facilities. Which means the uh, the dictaphone is uh, is has become a thing of the past, really. But they'll, they'll be in museums for long. I think they're great dictaphones. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of a museum with various dictaphones from the past be a very uh, a very interesting thing. <laughs> the, uh, this this was a mistake. I was coerced into this. Um, and I don't, I, I, And know. I told you what I thought. I thought it was avant, avant-garde, you know. mm. But, uh, there's a very funny fo joke about a dictaphone. Oh, Do you know me. it, Lynn? There's me. Lynn, there's a funny joke about a dictaphone. Right. Do you know it? No, no. Can I, I use your dictaphone? It doesn't work with you, of course, because you know you're you're a lady. But uh, you see the you see the uh, the play on uh, words there. Can I use your can I use your dictaphone, Len? <laughs> you know it doesn't work with you. Like I say, because you, you're a woman. But uh, ex it's an excellent uh, joke. So, uh, on the. I also rang all the companies on the product list you gave me. Uh, Foster's Menswear said yes if you get the second series and you wear one garment a week on air. Uh, Monza said no to a free caravan and yes to a tow bar. I'll take it. Uh, dolphin bathrooms? No, they said they didn't do that sort of thing. That's rubbish. I know for a fact Martin Lewis got two power showers out of that. He, uh, Martin Lewis threatened to sue us over that, you know. He said he never received a free power shower. Uh, dry skin cream. Um, I never knew that. Yeah, he did threaten to sue us. And the fact is... You, we can't prove it. We can't prove it. I know that he ha I know that he has a dolphin power shower, but he says if it went to court he could produce receipts. Well, how do you know? But I think he's calling my bluff. I think he was calling my bluff. Yeah, but how do you know he's got one? Because I know because because Jeremy Vine, who is a friend of mine, mm. rhymes, isn't it? But uh, Jeremy Vine went to a uh, went to a drinks party at his house. I went up to the bathroom to check. No, went to, went to the bathroom to went to use the bathroom oh, right. for a for a pedal or so whatever you know. Mm. That's his business. But when he was in there, he said he saw a dolphin. 
power shower. So that he ha the, the, the one thing I can prove is he has one. Now I said, would Jeremy Vine sign an affidavit to that effect? And he refused. So again, it's fraught with problems. Mm. That was, uh... He might make that noise. Be a bit weird. God, your skin's bad, isn't it? I've forgotten how bad it was. Yeah. Yes, it is. I can see that acne coming up again. Mm. Mm. For example, in this drawer... <laughs> People often ask, you know, what was in the drawer. You have, um, things. Don't they? Yes, yes, people that people often ask what was in the drawer, don't they? Uh, yes, they yeah. do. Yes. <laughs> they often ask that. What was in the drawer? They say. Tony Hares have decided not to give <clears throat> another television series. Why? Be tough. Well, Alan, the ratings for the first series started poorly and went downhill from there. <laughs> Are you being Lynn or Tony? <laughs> Tony. Bill be Lynn again. Can I have a second series? Well, who am I? Just say yes. Yes. That, that shirt's uh, actually Marks and Spencer's, but Which a lot... Yours? The one I'm wearing, but a lot of people yes. think it's a Van Heusen. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's... Oh, that was quite clever of me, then. Yeah. <laughs> the Cook Pass Babtridge thing, of course, uh, prevented it from oh, being... Oh, I love that house. ...obscene. It was just fantastic. Oh, I like this. Now, this actor can be seen in a pharmaceutical advert at the moment. Can he? Yes. Yes. Um, he was he, lovely. He was smashing. He was very good. Yeah. yeah. Very professional. Always there on time. Oh, yeah, he was very, very professional. And I, I like that tie. Very nice. Mm. Lynn's not my wife. She's my PA. Yeah, of course not. Mm. Hard worker, but uh, there's, there's no affection. Mm. <laughs> so you'd be living alone now? Yes. In fact, you know, the best thing I ever did was getting thrown out by my wife. <laughs> 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 yeah. she's, uh, she's living with a fitness instructor. Oh. Yeah, he drinks that uh, yellow stuff in tins. Mm. He's an idiot. <laughs> um, is there a neighbourhood watch? Sorry, I'm very close to uh. you. <laughs> is there a neighbourhood watch system? Uh, I think so, yeah. Right, well, I'll do my stint. Mm -hmm. I'd, uh, I'd want expenses, though. <laughs> and otherwise people start taking liberties. Before you know it, you're mowing their lawn. <laughs> so, will you have a look at the rest of the house? Yep. Mm -hmm. One, one more question. I, I, on the way here, quite nearby, I did see a, mm. a community centre with a mural on the side. School for the deaf. Right. That mean there will be noise or there won't be noise? <laughs> Difficult one to figure out, then. Uh. But they're, they're just deaf, they're not deaf offenders. They're just deaf. <laughs> yeah. uh, not you, then. Um, stay here, uh, get on the phone, pester Debenhams for uh, free lamps, free lampshades, you know, whatever you can blag them. Yeah. I always wanted to go upstairs and see that house. Yeah, well, that wouldn't have been appropriate, because, you know, it's not, it's... Uh, mm? I've always said that, you know, you exist on the ground floor of my life, but beyond that, that it would be, you know, not inappropriate. Yeah. Everything you want, you want to keep here, it, it could be kept or not, you know. Place it, as you wish. Nice height, that microwave. Yes, it's absolutely very nice. Right, practical. Right, per yes. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Bathroom? You know what this room says to me? Aqua, which is French for water. But why did you say that? Why did I why say, did you say that? Aqua? Because, what do you mean, why well, did I say water, but why? What? It because it's blue. Fantastic. Yeah. That, that, that is, that's the icing on the cake. You know, if, if King Arthur had had uh, an extender yeah. on his table, mm. it would have been a different story, really. Well, it wouldn't have been round. No. <laughs> on a kick-off. Yeah. It's like a royal table, isn't it? Those it is like a royal like table. Thrones. No, you can entertain royalty there, no problem. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Battered. Mm. I do like that toilet. Yeah. It's very futuristic. It's a bit it? It's yeah. funny, B days. That we didn't mention the B day. And, uh, no, that's they a are. Good point. People don't like to talk about them, do they? Uh, what are they useful? Well, if I, uh, what do you mean? The feet. Sure, <laughs> You don't know what a B day is well, for? I, I, they can be used for feet, can't they? You could wash your feet in it, but. Uh, Sorry, yes. Prefer to go alone. Sure, sure. <laughs> Do you do know what a do you know what a B day is for, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. It's for cleaning your anus, or um. It flashed on the first yank. I love this house. Or uh, or your genitals. I mean, that's an option, isn't it? Alan, that was Tony Hare's office on the phone. They put the meeting forward to twelve thirty today. When did you get this call? 
three minutes ago. So why didn't you tell... What have you been doing for three minutes? You are on the toilet. Right, was I on that long? It's in that area. <laughs> We're going to have to zip. Right, OK. Uh, one more question about the house. Um, petrol stations nearby? Shell, about a quarter of a mile. Right. Has it got a mini-mart? Mini-mart. Uh, Scaled-down supermarket fits inside a petrol station. <laughs> Sells pies, antifreeze. Yep, it's got one of those. In that case, Perfect. you've got yourself a deal. I'll take the house. Uh, Going to make an offer? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, how much is it? It's on at 325,000. Uh, will you take 324? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that was a mistake. Uh, well, actually, <clears throat> because, um, in actual fact, because... And that, as I say, because, the, because anyone who's watching this and, and has, has pressed the option saying DVD voiceover from Alan Partridge, mm -hmm. well, obviously you have, because you'd be hear, hear me saying this now, um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. true. That did happen. That uh, yeah. people pretend they know your show because he's trying to sell me a house. Nice. But uh, it's a li it's a lie. He hasn't. No, he said he had. Yeah, no, and he d I know, but, that, but the depiction of it because he's an actor playing what really happened, Lynn. Yes. I'm saying in reality that did happen. But what didn't happen was I didn't offer three hundred twenty-four thousand. I offered three hundred fifteen, and that was accepted. But, they, but, the, but the director wanted me to say 324 because he thought it was amusing, therefore I complied. What I'm saying is that a lot of the events in here didn't happen exactly as they are depicted. That's the point, that's the point I'm making. No, but it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't make much difference. It doesn't matter, what do you mean? Well, it doesn't matter that there's, no, there's a difference. It doesn't matter that you paid 315 in real life and that actually in the programme you paid 324. Well, who who doesn't it matter to? I don't know, Alan. I, shall I tell you? Lynn Benfield. You get all these wine people, don't you? Yeah. Lynn Benfield. Wine this, wine that. Let's have a bit of red, let's have a bit of white. You know, this is a fantastic okay. depiction so of the... Of what I can, I think, fairly describe as, as the cancer at the BBC. Mm. At the heart oh, of the right BBC. Now. And I don't think the BBC will mind me saying that. Because that's, you know... The BBC is riddled from top to bottom with communists. That, mm. that, that, you can't, you can't say that, though. You know, that'll probably get taken off the DVD. You just said it, Alan. Well, I, um, yeah, yes, I have. Interesting fact. Uh, it's my weakness, I'm afraid. I've got a cellar. Yeah. They pretend, they pretend to be Liberal Democrats, but in actual fact, they, um... They're communists. They're, 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 they're sort of communists. closet communists. Mm. Lots of them are openly gay, which is fine, you know, a lot of them are openly gay, you know, there are plenty of gay, gay men at the BBC. But, mm. uh, that's not the problem anymore. They don't mind admitting that, but the communism is still something that is very, very, very... Uh, 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 uh hidden, hidden. Yeah, sorry, can we, yeah, that was, uh, sound a bit strange, that, sorry. You all right, Alan? Yeah, fine, yeah, I'll just have a glass of water. Yeah. So, repeating, repeating myself. That shirt he's wearing is very bright, isn't it? Lime green. It's, uh, it, it will, uh, depending on the, um... What dreadful Depending taste. on the cathode ray tube that, be that belongs to each viewer, that shirt will either appear as canary yellow or lime green. And we can never know that, Lynn, because each person's TV set will give a slightly different rendering of the colour. So you can't make pronouncements about colour definitively like that. <laughs> because that is me. Yeah, because I evolve, but I don't... ...revolve. Don't get that at all. Yeah. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't know what I'm on about. That's, guys. I don't think he's listening. Guy's an idiot, yeah. 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 He um tragically died very soon after that. Mm. Uh, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Pouring the wine out. I want you to pour a little bit. Let me sip it and then pour the rest. It's so ignorant yeah. of him. So it? absolutely, yeah. you know, and that's the that's the BBC restaurant yes. for you. Unbelievable. Oh God. Yeah. But that's what well, I, I insisted that that was portrayed like that because that's how it happened. Mm. Here's to our future relationship with the BBC. Yeah, I, I don't think you should see your future just at the BBC, Alan. I just think it's time for you to consider moving on to new pastures. How have I got a second service? There's so many opportunities for me. Let, 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 let me. let me rephrase that. Um, can I... Uh, no, actually, I'll just repeat the question. Have I got a second service? No. Oh, thank you.
Oh, what's next? Tony! Oh, Peter, hello. How are you? Fine, fine. Yeah, um, okay. uh, Alan, this is Peter Linnan. He's revamping our current affairs output. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rather. Uh, we haven't met, but I liked your chat show. Thank you very much. Good for you. Good for you. No, give me one. (laughs) Give him another series, you swine. (laughs) Yeah, give me another series, you shit. (laughs) Look, Alan, I I don't want you to feel that the... I'll see you later, please, yes. I am... Yeah. There are lots of people at the BBC doing things like revamping current affairs. And I think it's money well spent. It's the one... Oh, not this again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that... that that's a terrible continuity error, that, actually, the, the lack of wig. Don't hesitate. If you have any other ideas, I'd, I'd be very interested. Got them here. Got them here. Right. Uh, right, OK. Shoestring, Taggart, Spender, Bergerac, Morse. What does that say to you about regional detective series? There's too many of them. That's one way of looking at it. Uh, another way of looking at it is, people like them, let's make some more of them. Um, a detective series based in Norwich called Swallow. That, that could have been is, uh, superb. A detective who tackles vandalism. Bit of a maverick. Not afraid to break the law if he thinks it's necessary. Um, you know, he's not a criminal, you know, but you know, he, he will perhaps... I wish he'd worn a different hour, jacket. Motivated. Yeah, if I'd worn a different jacket, I think history... <laughs> Could have been very I different. I think it could have been because the jacket matches the background, unfortunately. I know, I'm sort of my upper yeah. torso. Well, my shoulders are disappearing into the wall. I know. Mm, you've just got a head there. Really. I've got a head and a narrow body made of jumper. Like the cook reports, but with the more Still wearing the tie though, that's still visible. Yes. Arm wrestling with Chaz and Dave. I don't think so. Pity because they were they were very keen on that one. Yeah, they were so upset about that. You know. Knowing ME They had a they had a they had a 14-page synopsis mm. that described in detail how the arm wrestling would take place. Yeah. 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 Written by written by Dave. Chaz Chaz can't can't read or write. You, you, you've got to keep the energy up because you can. <laughs> you don't like it. That's all right. No. That's okay. Inner city sumo. What's that? We take fat people from the inner cities, put them in big nappies, and then uh, get them to throw each other out of a circle that we draw with yeah. chalk on the ground. Then it's a bad idea. Very cheap to make. <laughs> do it in a pub car park. No. no. <laughs> I'm not sure that if you don't do it, Sky will. I'll mm. live with that. Unbelievable. How much thought did you put into? He turns like all that down, and then he commissions something like Ground Force. Mm. Cooking. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. Uh, a partridge amongst the pigeons. That, that was a bad idea. I concede that readily. That's... I just don't know how you put all these ideas together. Did you do mm. it sort of in half an hour? I think you probably did. No, I'm sorry. No, stop. Youth hosteling with Chris Eubank. That that was another bad one. I, mm. that, the which I will readily concede. The first sort of three yeah. were excellent. Yeah. You see, monkey tennis. A lot of people laughed work. at that. Well, it could have worked. Well, it could have been a very, you know, it could have been a fun item. Yeah. On a, on a, within another programme. You know, that's the point. Yes. You know. P- you know. Pete, Pete. P- the man's a fascist. If I mean, you t- he, is it, you, 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 you've it, just bought he's a house. La- he's laughing at the laughing idea. At he's laughing at the idea of monkeys playing tennis, right? Mm-hmm. Ask PG, ask PG how stupid they think the ideas of monkeys do performing human tasks. How Stupid that is, and whether it works. Ask them how many tea bags they've sold, and you know what they'll say? Uh, um, they'll say, you know, 40,000 a day for the last 20 years. I don't know the figures, you know, but the f- fact is, it's wor- it works. Monkeys eating, uh, sometimes with a piano. It, it doesn't matter. The, the, the activity is not important, it's the fact that it's, it's monkeys. Performing, you know, I, you didn't let me elaborate. I didn't. Not just monkeys playing tennis. Monkeys you put them in tennis, tennis whites. You've got to visualise it. You know, but Nike you could have sponsored it. There's so many opportunities. Oh, okay. That that was a mistake. That that mm. that I made. That was making a bad situation worse. I will readily concede well, of that. Of course, you down that first glass of wine very quickly. Yeah. Which is a bit silly, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, City Ralph, haven't you got programmes to make? 
It's like this cheese. How did it go? I've been badly. Oh, it's smelly. It's got walnuts in. Right. Let's go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, then. That was a negative, and right now I need two positives. You know, one, one two, cancel out the negative, and another one, you know, just so I can have a positive. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, one can find some strength when you're at your bleakest moments, if you... Open yourself up to new Len, I'm not coming to your Baptist church. <laughs> you always get people when they're down. I don't want salvation. I just want to be able to say, I'm Alan Partridge. You didn't let Join me tonight sentence, when my guests will be. I know. I know, I know I didn't. Not, didn't even get to the end of the sentence. Actually, Not even to the full stop. I know. Comma. Right, Chris. Yeah. Hello, Alan. Didn't know you'd moved in. Yeah, just moved in last week. I'm having a barbecue. Fancy coming over? I'd love to. Do you mind if I bring my guitar? I'd rather you didn't. It's not that kind of area. <laughs> Do you like mini Kievs? I love them. But my wife's vegetarian. Doesn't matter. She can have fish. No, she won't eat that either. Oh, forget it. <laughs> you people. Come on, Lena. These people are starting to annoy me. I'll tell you something, you know. They may have very nice... Tudorette-style housing, but can they order an Irish coffee at 3 a.m. in the morning and get it delivered to their bedroom? No. No. Oh, I can. <laughs> oh, I'll drop me at a cab rank. <laughs> oh. Wings. Wings over America. Well, I'm annoyed. Right. Um, can I have an Irish coffee delivered to the room? There's Roger Moore in the uh, bottom left-hand corner. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, what, tea? He's, uh, gave me a signed photograph, actually. Can a phantom... When did you meet him? Um, I never met him. I never met him. But how did you get the signed autograph, then? Because he asked me to provide, um, a signed video to be auctioned on behalf of the UN. Because, because he's no longer that. Bond. He's an ambassador for the UN. He goes and visits um, starving children now oh, right. yeah, to make up for all the uh, people he shot when he had a license to kill. <laughs> That's a I'm joking. No, it was, it was never actually Bond. It's, uh, he's a wonderful man. He's, oh, he's a very nice man. He's very, a wonderful star. Ki a very kind man. Very kind man. Which brings us on very neatly to the next guest. Signature. Stephen Bry, whose father invented cat's eyes. Stephen, what was it like uh, living with... Uh, the, being the son of the man who invented cat's eyes. Well, I, I remember he came home from work one night very excited. Did, um, and he, um, uh, do people, people want to, did, did they ever turn all the lights off in the house and sort of run towards you with a torch, try hoping to get, catch the reflection in your eyes? Well, the idea of reflection, of course, is yeah. what Dad was interested yeah. in. The idea of just the glass. Just just interrupt you there, Stephen. And it's time now for Alan's fact of the day. You didn't let him finish either. No. no. USA, one of, one of those again tomorrow. I remember yeah. I, I hit a fox once. Um, yes, in, in the Peak District. Um, that I, I remember seeing the reflection in his eyes before I hit it. It was too late, of course. It was, it was, uh, but I didn't quite kill him. That was the tragedy. I had to go back and uh, finish him off with the jack. This is Ooh. Huey Lewis and yeah. the News. Interesting. They always say that uh, yeah. if, uh, if, if, the, if the man who invented cat's eyes had seen a cat walking away from him, he would have invented the pencil sharpener. Do you know that one? <laughs> A nice big thick slice of thin Lizzie. I'm Alan Partridge. Um, that's that. When do I say? I'm say, in say, say who? And I'm in Benfield. I just never know when to come. I thought you said I'm. I thought you said I'm in Benfield. It's not something you're in no, Benfield. Said, Is Benfield an area as well? I've no idea, Alan. Now that was a lovely shot. Yeah. Mm. That was hilarious. The uh, the beard. The beard around the. Uh... Your mother always said she loved that jumper. Mm. That was the one colour she said you were obsessed with red and green. Yeah. Yeah. What? Your what? mother said that red was your favourite colour, and I said to her she wasn't right. She wasn't you right. Like, yeah. You don't like red. Well, I she don't... said, I'm telling you, no. I know because I dressed him. I like a deep red. I like a blood red. I don't like a kind of a, a, a bright, bright red. I like a. Oh, but um, she, she was adamant. 
Yeah, and she was right. You know, very particular. Yeah, yeah, she's very, she's very um, she's uh, she's often wrong. That's the problem. Mm. Well, maybe she'd tell her that then. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt her. I like the suede patches on the uh, left-hand side Are of the... Are those suede? The no, genuine suede, yeah. Oh. I can actually even see the stitching. It, uh, Dave Clifton once said it looks like I'd, I'd stolen them from a swatch. That was rude. And stitched them on. Stolen the suede patches from a swatch from a car showroom. How extraordinary. Yeah, extraordinary thing to say, isn't it? But he did. He genuinely said it to me. Did you? Ge did he you genuinely said that to me. Swatch? He said it as a joke, I think, but... Right. Uh, but you didn't. You uh, didn't steal them from a car. No, of course not. It's ridiculous. I think he was. He was just trying to be amusing, but it was just. It was odd. Very odd. The trouble with young people nowadays is they, rude. they don't say good Basic. morning. How are you? Basic. All right. What is all right? Mean? Basic manners. Basic manners. But young people don't have basic manners. They don't let people finish what they're saying. They don't, uh... Well, Alan, you didn't let me finish what, what I was saying what? just then. You didn't let me finish what I was saying just then. Yeah, but you're my PA. That's different. What I'm saying is most people, when they meet strangers, the very young people are very rude. You know, they don't say, you know, good morning and yes, please, no, thank you. Uh, well, yes, and, and yes, madam, or yes, sir. Well, not madam. Or... That's weird these, these days. Well, uh, why is it you, weird? Well, I think you could have said... You would have been all right saying yes, madam up until the early 70s, when I think it fell completely out of use. Well, I was in a shop the other day and somebody said, um, excuse me, yes, madam. Yes, but that was, excuse me, madam, but she, that was probably some sort of fat lady with a hat, I'm guessing. Was it? Was it? Was no, it? no, it was a middle-aged man. Middle-aged man, well, and I And I very much appreciated it. Yeah. You see, wine, wine colours suit me very much. No, well, your mother said blood colour. She said red yeah. suited you. Yeah. Well, I could exchange it. I can talk to my chocolate people. <laughs> yes. Have you tampered with the wrapping? But there is a bit of uh, superficial damage to the, the box. The uniforms. The actual. The other thing about this, just to remind people, if they don't know, once again, that this is a depiction of my life with actors playing the other people, apart oh, from correct. Lynn and you, you and me, that, yeah. you, me and me and you, Lynn. who are playing. Yes, Lynn, yes. who are playing ourselves. Yes. But this, the actual, this is an actress. But yes. she yes. is an actress. Yes. And... With the same necklace on again. Yeah, mm. that was her necklace. But mm. the uniform, in reality, was not green, various shades of green. It was, um, it was, it had a blue hue. The actual uniform, the people in the actual hotel were actually, it had a blue hue. But again, the designers took a decision that they wanted to change the mm. colour slightly, mm. and I didn't, it didn't, I didn't seem to matter to me. But it's just interesting how... The things that you see that in real reality mm. are altered for mm. for the depiction. You got quite upset with the designers. I seem to remember. At the, at the time, yes. yes. At the time. At the time. At the time. Mm. Yeah. She's. Uh, She's got lovely hair, actually. Very yeah. pretty hair. There she is, giggling again. Off yeah. again. Yeah. Off she goes. Surprising. She, she, uh, she, she, uh... Have I upset her? And she did go on to work after, after this. Oh, she did very well. I know. Mm. Did you send Sophie a Valentine's card this morning? Oh, God, no, no. I'm old enough to be her father. So she and that young man She's, uh, very she's well, very good. She's, uh, she's in a series called Slap the Horse, which is doing, which apparently is, uh, has a, has a, a real cult. Oh. Yes. Good for her. You know, uh, the fact that he made that jokey remark doesn't necessarily mean that he actually sent you the car. Mm. What does slap a horse mean, then? Oh, it's, it's one of those weird things. You know, these days, a lot of young people, they like to speak in a kind of weird language. Slap a horse. You know, it's, I think it's some sort of black slang. Slap the horse to make it run. No, slap the horse. Well, I mean, you normally means, slap a horse to make it run. It means treat your wife roughly, you know. Yeah, something like that. It's, 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 a, it's a rapper thing. Treat your wife. It's a rapper thing. Treat your wife roughly. Thing? Well, apparently it's fashionable. What's the rap thing mean? What have you got for me? Uh, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? 
news? I was quite nervous yeah. before this, actually. That boy in the hotel is also in a uh, a well-known chewing gum manufacturer's advert. I, I and thought does it was a gene ad. What? I thought it was a gene ad. H him? In a, no, yes, no, no, I thought no, it was no. in a gene ad. No, chewing. Oh, a chewing. Chewing, chewing gum ad. Chewing gum ad advert. Mm. Still, good news about the chocolate ice What did you mean? What? What did you say? Chewing gum advert. Bert. Vert! Advert! Jesus! Sorry, can we... Sorry. Go on. Oh. Um... <laughs> my heart was in my mouth when I said that. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. That was a ridiculous suggestion. What was it doing? Why was that suggest ridiculous? I was driving, it's just driving a metro. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It was just budget, Alan. That was the budget. I know. I'm... But it was a ridiculous thing to suggest. It was. Lynn. <laughs> if only got, you've only got 10p to buy this some sweets, you don't go and buy a great box of milk tray, do you, yeah, for £10? No, but, you only get no, the yeah, sweets for 10p. Yeah. You don't go and spend £10. But, yes, but it would Lynn, be foolish and foolhardy, Lynn, as my mother used to say. Let me, put it, ha, let me, let me try and sum up what, what I mean about how ridiculous... What do you think is the what do you think is the most popular car to convert for disabled people? It's a metro. How can I drive the car that's the most popular car to convert for for dis, for disability people? I can't do that. I'm supposed to be a captain of a small industry. I can read you like a book, but not a very good book. <laughs> Certainly not Bravo Two Zero by Andy McNabb. That's an excellent uh, book. Andy McNabb's not his real name. It, it, it's it's SAS. It's a it's a it's a pseudonym. Right. It's a false name, right. in fact. So Andy McNabb. Um, Andy McNabb. Oh yes, I am. I am going on yeah. about Benjamin. But let, forget him for the second. Andy McNabb is not his real name because he's a real member of the SAS. His real name is Bernard Taylor. Right. But he needs to conceal his identity so he doesn't get attacked by people. Bernard Taylor. His uh, lovely chap. Well, he would do that to protect his family. He plays tennis at Swaffham Health Club. Oh, he looks like he's got a hangover. Now, I always suspected about this actor. He looks quite Asian there. Nothing wrong with that. Um, um, Michael does look quite Asian there, but uh, as I say, absolutely no problem with that at all. I always wondered whether he slept a full night's sleep. Yeah. He'd always got these lines Rings under, under his, his eyes. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. He's like he's wearing skin glasses. Yes. Uh, Always laughing at himself as yeah. well. I think Curious. it's a nervous thing. Yes. Oh, it was technically good, I. Uh. I was a burglar and I wanted to uh, avoid detection. I like the way I say avoid that. I say avoid. Avoid. Very Evo clear. Avoid. Yeah, but very clear. Yeah. Before it started to fall apart. Hi. Uh, maybe, maybe he's just had like a beef burger for your part. Maybe just the beef burger. All he's got to do is enunciate. Yeah. Make it clear. Make it clear. Mm. It's not yeah. clear. Maybe just a beef burger. Yeah. Eighteen till I die. I'm gonna be eighteen. Where did you get that from? Hmm? Where did you get that plate from? Where did I get that plate from? Um, High and Mighty did uh, did a uh, High and Mighty do a selection of tableware for the uh, for the larger man. Stephen Fry's got a whole set of them. All the others had superficial damage. Paid for yours. Extraordinary. All the are intact. Well, they were when I looked this morning. <laughs> well, I liked her. She was sexy, uh, a lady. She never spoke to me. No, she, uh... Yes. Mm. Unbelievable, Alan. She's, um, yeah. No, she never spoke to me. Very well preserved, you know. Actually, sparkling wine will be fine, I think. He was a smashing man, that chap. He was a lovely was... little actor. He, uh, yeah. Fancy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, no, just a pipe of Pringles. Fine. Yeah. yeah, she's very good. I mean, you know, she needs to. Hey. She's good, was she? Well, she's a good. I think she's good. She's a good uh, look. She's a good. She's a. She's a good looking. Mm. Um. There's Roger it's again. Quite ridiculous, dressed up like that. Um. Yeah. Uh, I like the kind of... Where was that? When did you do that? Is it a real nightclub? Yeah, interesting. So, so what? Well, did you do that in a real nightclub? 
Well, no, 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 that, that, no, that, no, 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 no. That was a, that was a, um, that was at a, a, that was actually what was technically referred to as a, as a fun pub. What was a fun pub in the eighties? It was a, it was a, it was in the eighties before bars with trendy beers. There was a bridging period of what, uh, 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 which was during the, the the era of the fun pub. It you mean a, with straw on the ground? These there's a bit straw. of straw on the ground mm. and turned uh, glittery tassels on a mini stage. Yeah. Very soon after that, karaoke. Oh, that's arrived. the link. Yeah. Right. Mm. Oh, your skin looks so bad, Alan. Yeah, you're sucking me as well. You rotten shit. Yeah, well, you're rotten shit too. Get your coat. Yeah, she that bad mouth you very bad. She did, yeah. Mm. Behind your back, actually. Um, Hello, it's Alan again. I've locked you all in the boardroom so you don't get me. The chap with the hat and the beard, the actor who played him. Yes. Can't remember his name, but um, he he wrote. He ran a uh, he ran a, he ran, r runs or ran briefly a guest house in Eastbourne, and I don't know anything else about him. Did he tell you that? No, I found out. Who did you find out from? Then? That that's that is I cannot I can obviously not no, never reveal that. Wow, extraordinary. Yeah. They've gone to Long Stanton Spice Museum. That was a lie. But that was a lie I genuinely told at the time. Mm. So, 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 in the reenactment here. We can't celebrate with the Spice Girls, so I want to get your asses down to uh, the Spice Museum <laughs> in Long Stanton. It's funny that, it's a see through mm. shirt. It is see through. Yeah. Now, my mother used to say that uh, mm. women who wear see through shirts. Mm are um not to be trusted well i don't think you know i think your mother to be fair is uh well she's she's dead but i like the i like the see-through top it's always quite nice if uh it, instead of wearing a, uh they can't i wear nothing underneath obviously that would be obscene because you quite clearly see you know what the change in skin tone between the uh breast and the uh and the uh well, did your old mother ever dress like that? And the uh, areoli. That's the, that's the word, isn't it? Yeah. No, no. Um, but uh, did your mother were, ever dress like that? Well, when she was in a when she was in a younger not when she was as old as she the is, but when she was on, younger, she the wore pictures that. on her side cabinet. Yeah, my mother and she Never had my mother had a wearing. large opaque skin toned bra, a tan bra. She had a to bra achieve like that. the effect of having no bra underneath when you in actual fact have a bra in. But she didn't because show... It, no, she didn't show anything, because, no, but precisely. it had the illusion. I can see her bra. You can see... Yeah, but that's... Well, but your mother never showed her bra. I know, she never but showed her bra. She, she had a skin so. colour bra, a tan coloured bra. A tan bra. Uh, lion bar? No, I prefer fingers. Mm, I bet you mm. do. Chocolate ones? Don't mind, really. Yes. Mm. Uh, that's not... That's actually quite unpleasant watching it now. Dirty. Yeah. Quite refreshing. You call what's a what's a happened to her? Actually, you probably call it a big tool, wouldn't you? <laughs> She's. Uh, Norwich is our oyster. She's still working. Mm. Jill, do you like owls? Oh, quite nice, I suppose. Yeah. I know a cracking owl sanctuary. How about it? Unless you can think of anything better. Could go shopping. <laughs> I like the um, astroturf. The, uh, Did you have a fun day that day? Yeah, it was. It was. It was excellent because, um, in actual fact, what happened in reality was I took the real Jill to um, to um, what's it called? What? I used to think. Ooh. Um. Nicer than my wife. Chessington World of Adventure. But they decided that, but they that said that, that no one would believe that, so they changed it to an owl Why sanctuary. wouldn't they believe it, then? Because it's, it's not believable, is it? It's not what? what? It's not believable for a man in his 40s to take a woman who's I older than that. I suppose the producer thought to, it was immature. Yeah. Mm. And it, to be fair, it was. Yeah. Mm. But we had a great day there, me and the actress, uh, and uh, seeing yeah. some of the owls. Mm. It's a lovely view, actually, behind you. Great view. You spend hours looking yeah. at it. 
Was that a, that was a real owl there? They were all birds of prey, I think, uh, not just. Yeah. I'm glad they're chained up anyway. Yeah. Mm. Did it smell? Did it smell there? Um, was it quite dirty? A smell, you know, like when birds are all together. It smelled. Well, they just smelt like a, you know. Like a bird. It just smelt like a bird, you know. Rope goes slack. So they could do that, couldn't they? If you tried to hang a hole, they'd always hover. So the rope went slack. When I, when I say bird smell, I don't mean uh, Chanel. You know, see that? See what I'm getting at there, Len? Mm. You know, when I say a bird smell, I don't mean I don't mean Chanel. <laughs> you know, I mean the actual uh, the actual you know, a pong they secrete. Yeah. yeah. You know what Jackie Stewart said to me once? Do you know what he said to me when I met him that day? He said, "If you, he said, the secret to smooth driving is when you come to a halt, take your foot off the brake just before the car stops, so it doesn't jolt." Yeah, but that's quite dangerous. No, 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 no. Apply the brake, and then just as the car comes to stop, just ease off the brake, prevents your passengers being jolted. Yes. Well, that's always used to worry your mother, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. She, used to, she used to think that was quite dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. She actually, Steel she actually span. used to feel quite safe with me in the car, actually. Yeah. I took her out, you know, I've taken her out for a couple of drives. She said, Lynn, I like the way you drive, I like the speed. That's just because you were slow. I like the way you turn right. You yeah. don't swing out like Alan does. Yeah. I said, oh, well, I think Alan's a very good driver. Well, I, yeah. I, well, I am, yeah. You know, unless you take the risks. When you take the risks, it's always a little bit unnerving. Yeah. When you accelerate, when you turn right, that's actually quite unnerving when you do that. Yeah. And the car could possibly go out of control. But, you know, it never does with yeah. you. Yeah, you, you I'm, not, I'm not really... I'll be honest, I'm not really listening at the moment, then. I'm just, just watching this. Two chocolate mousses. Another low top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's, uh, this didn't quite work. The band were uh, quite poor. But, uh... Uh, yes, they, they loved themselves, you know. Because <laughs> you're a lovely singer, Alan. Thank you. Yeah. Um, a in her mouth. I no. think that's one of the nicest ties you have ever worn. Cheers. My favourite. Just like me, they always sing close to me. I love that song. So, yeah. Why do, why do, that's not That, the bassist, the bass player, mm -hmm. there, um, was in, uh, Paper Lace. No, he wasn't. He was in Paper Lace. Oh, yeah, actually, I didn't know you could mm. see. Remember, uh, Billy I Don't Be a Hero? Over him. And the night Chicago died. Oh, right, yeah. He was the bass player for them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all falling into place now, though, isn't it? She's, um... <laughs> Did you drink for real that night? Do what? Did you both drink a lot of alcohol? Yeah, I drank real someone alcohol. Someone told me you were drinking real alcohol. That's right, yeah. I was quite surprised. Why? Well, because I thought... Would you remember the lines and things? Well, the... And the bottle that you were drinking apparently was twelve percent. Arrows, maples, yeah. caramel. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, this isn't it? Even though we're basically just listing chocolate bars. <laughs> oh my God, Lynn's here. Lynn, what are you doing here? Oh, Alan. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, cardigan. Love. Smaller rover. Then you come all the way out here to tell me about a walnut gear knob. Yes, well, I've been ringing you all day, but your mobile was switched off. If my mobile switched helpful. off, it's switched off for a reason. Yeah, yeah. It's an owl sanctuary. No, that is true, that. I was worried that the ringing may have sounded like a mating call. <laughs> Can't have a bird trying to have sex on my phone. Well, they wouldn't have done, because they were chained up, you weren't they? Snazzy cardigan. Well... Just throw it on. You know... Do you think you can upstage Jill by wearing that? You're very much mistaken. No intention of upstaging anybody. Have you got padded shoulders? Yes. Now, that, the lady I bought it weird. from... That's weird. That does look weird. You look like a sort of an American football player in drag, if you don't mind me saying that. I don't recall saying 
in that. Oh, come on. Yeah, all right, then. <laughs> We see now she's not wearing shoulder pads and she looks a little bit hunched. Mm. Now the lady who sold it to me in the department store actually said it makes you look more upright. Upright, yeah. Mm. She's uh, she was lying. Could you give this to Alan? It's fungal foot powder. Now he's got a condition, so make sure he rubs it in his feet last thing at night and first thing in the morning. Only it just gets a little bit smelly. <laughs> <laughs> They've got some goat's cheese out there. Oh. <laughs> They've left it out for a couple of hours, so it's had a chance to breathe. So you had that wine, on top of that you had champagne. Hmm? What? You weren't listening to me. No, I wasn't. I was, uh, yeah. Why don't the... we take these to your room? She was, uh, she was very sexy. Very sexy. People say, you know, did anything actually happen <laughs> on set? Because you can get quite heated, you know. And, um... No, nothing did. Nothing happened at all. I think she had a soft spot for you. Yeah. Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? She had a, she had a soft spot for me. Yes. I think those two were very fond yeah, of each other. Yeah, yeah. Mm. She was, uh... She was very, um... I always think it's good to shower before you become and get into it with someone. Do you know what I mean? Do you think so? So it was nice to... Just to rinse off every, you know, nook and cranny. Um, so it's only polite, really. Some, I mean, I think when you're young, then the, 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 after, I think after, after the age of 30, 34, 34, you should, uh, I think people should, should shower, as a rule, shower before they, uh, before they start. I don't think uh, there are any rules to anything, Alan, it's really. I still cheat. I'm not haggling. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to pay you a compliment. Unless I've grossly misread the situation. It was my understanding in the lift that uh, no money would change hands. <laughs> I'm all yours. Mm. Mm. Uh, do you mind if I turn the light out? Well, can't you just dim it a bit? Yeah, OK. Uh, a bit more... Uh... <laughs> How's that? Yeah, that'll do. Did you sleep as a little boy with the light on or off? Uh, I slept with the light on, and I but uh, but I but for a long time I slept with it off. But uh, I wet the bed till I was ten, so uh, I, I tried. I like to have the lights on in case I got caught short. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, that's interesting. I so had a had it, You had it off. I had a buzzer, which is uh, two wire meshes on the bed with a sheet between, and if you're in pass between the two sheets, it completed a circuit, the buzzer would sound, I would get up and use the lavatory. It sounds cruel, but it was a, kind of like a Pavlov's dog type system. But that but it, was tantamount to cruelty. Not cruelty. I didn't get an electric shock when I peed. I just, I just got alerted. I was alerted. Your did that? My, no, my father uh, made it. He was very handy with... Um, uh, electrical circuitry. It's I mean, it could have been converted to something to torture me with, but he didn't. He was done. It merely emitted a noise, so a high-pitched whistle, which uh, would make me. I'd jump out of bed. You know, small amount would leave my body. A small amount of uh, urine, and uh, when the, and, and that would alert the signal. I would rise from the bed, walk to the toilet, and. Uh, well, you ju you just said you jump from the bed. Uh, and. Uh, and expel the um, remaining water. Yes. Your mother was obsessed with uh, cleanliness then, wasn't she? Yeah. Yes. yes. Don't suppose anything wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This was uh, this was very disturbing. This scene. What? 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 This scene. This sex scene. Oh. Right. God's sake. Ugh. You've got it on the bed sheets. You've got it. Oh, well, see, you're so obsessed with it's, it too. It's well. really upsetting. Mm. The skirt thing round the side of the bed. I thought it'd be erotic. It took me hours to get that Moves chocolate out of that dressing gown. Put it on a person. Yeah. It's demented. It's awful. Mm. Yeah. It's only a bit of chocolate. It may be chocolate to you, Joe, but to an unwitting member of staff, this could look like some sort of. Dirty protein. Exactly, exactly. That's it's exactly right. It was just so wrong. Absolutely right. Yeah. 
Well, it's not five star, but it's yeah. certainly competitive. It's not an H block, that's for sure. Mm. Yeah, God. remember those protests? Yes. <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Partridge? You heard a bit of commotion. He'd be listening at the door, you know that, don't you? Oh, right. Yeah. Mm. He had yeah. that glass up. Yes. Yeah, I've just been eating some moose. <laughs> Well, you've, you've, you've missed a bit. Yeah. Do with it later. Right. Hey, it reminds me of this time, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll camouflage ourselves up because we're doing jungle exercises, yes, right? Can we talk about I'll this please. in the morning? But, uh, well, no, I won't be on in the morning because I'm DNA late snow, right? No, so I don't come until about two o'clock. So, you know... Well, well, you know, when the boat comes in. Yeah. Oh. I did actually say that, and he... That's sort of when your friendship started, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Yes. I'm not sure he's ever in the army, actually. Sorry, didn't mean to say anything nasty. And now it's time for Alan's love bud. This is the story of a woman, 50, and a chap in his early 40s. This woman enraptured this man. It's funny, she's not wearing a safety belt, is she? Again. No. He no, very silly. I'm going to wear a T-shirt with crowded house written on the front of it. <laughs> He thought, yes, I will buy that copy of Punch magazine. But then she committed a gross act upon Now, where did that ash go? Probably on the seat. Yes, precisely. I'm going to watch it, see if the length changes on the next shot of her. Is the ash going to fall off? Yes, is it? Is it? I suspect it is. Is it? Look how long it is. Let's have a look back. If it's gone... Mm. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look, let's have a look. Can't see. Come on. Come on. But, you know, even then it was stolen. You know, it's not your property, love. You've got to give it back. Yeah. So just to re-emphasise one more Well, time, it would have gone on the floor. Ah, oh, yeah. yes, it's gone on the See, seat. it's gone See? on the seat. Yes. Unbelievable. It started you don't I want I mean, that's that. what's wrong with society. What you need to do is put your litter in a bin if you're going to smoke a cigarette, that, which is yeah. very unsafe. I could never live with a smoke. There was no future in the relationship, but it gave me confidence yes, to realise that I could, you know... Then I could still have, a, you know, a, a, a sexual relationship with women eight years my senior. Mm. I've, I've often wondered why you didn't do a recording. Do the what? A music recording. I would love to, to but I mean, if, if any record executives that. are approaching this, then Ooh. I would love to record a song. Because you've got a lovely tone. Yeah. You're listening to This Morning's Farmer. <laughs> Go on, you were talking about cow bringing in. Yeah, yeah we bring you. them Just in for milk, milk and then all that can go... Pop the straight jackets on them. Thank you. Thanks, What? Thanks very much for being This Morning's Farmer, Robert Moon. Robert, uh, did you have your breakfast this morning? Well, I, I reckon the way things... Can you just answer I... yes for the purposes of a joke? <laughs> yes. In which case, you must be a full moon. <laughs> Hello? I'm still here. Yeah, I was uh, <clears throat> making a pun on your name. All right. Yeah. Hmm? Anyway, thank you very much for being this morning's Farm farmer. Farmers uh, generally have a poor sense of humour. No, he was quite um, slow, wasn't he? Yeah, but then they, they, they have... They, they have uh, because they're all... Because... 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 All farmers receive about £100,000 free from Europe every year. Um, I, you'd think they'd have a sense of humour, but uh, it, it seems not so. Um, and, uh, and, Is there any sugar anywhere? This yeah. isn't, we'll just, enough sugar in here. We'll, we'll, my tea. Yeah, we're just, we're just. If you hear us drinking coffee, it's because because it's because we have we've Thank just you. been served coffee. <laughs> um, Watership Allen there. That's obviously a, a play on the notion of Watership I Down, know, the uh, very frightening <laughs> rabbit cartoon. Um, um, and of course, uh, farmers have a sixty percent uh, suicide rate. I think. Uh, Gosh, that's high. It is very high. And do you think they get free money from Europe, but uh, they tend to 
back. They tend to... They tend to kill themselves. They tend to repeat what they say as well. If they have... Because... I think the idea is when they were children, they thought when they grew, grow up, they'd like to be a farmer. Yeah. And then what happens is they think it's all going to be like... It's going to be like Hector's house or yeah. some sort of idyllic thing where they've got yeah. cows called Daisy and they chew straw and lean on a fence. Yeah. And well, that, in, yes. in reality, what happens is it's all about, you know, and they think there'll be milkmaids are milking, you know, and, you know, six gold rings or whatever. But um, what happens is they actually, uh, you know, or, or and... Uh, you know, um, it end, what it ends up is they have, end up having to deal with things like oilseed rape, which is an awful word, and uh, and they end up committing suicide. And, you know. and it's rapeseed oil. Yeah, right, oilseed oil seed rape, rape. rapeseed oil. No, 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 it's specifically rapeseed oil. Curly, black and kinky. <sighs> well. Mixed with yellow chinky. Coffee. Can you still say that? Oh, there he is. Like, it's, it's, it's a race of people. It's interesting. Food. You gotta be very careful about saying ra racialist things these days. See, co coffee, oh, right. coffee. For example, you couldn't say twenty-five years ago you could say coffee-coloured person. You could say, "I know a very nice person. They're coffee-coloured." But these days, that would be unacceptable. Why? Be well, they, because of the um, because they because a lot of them are in positions of power now and they object. But they are coffee-coloured. I mean, we're white. They're coffee coloured, aren't they? You, you can't say that, then. You say black. Well, then, this, and this is not the forum to Chinese discuss. people are yellow. Well, they're not. <laughs> li, li, yeah, they may be yellow, more yellower. Well, yellower. Yeah, Australians are brown. I mean, Australians. You know, Australians are brown because the sun has burnt them. I mean, it's as simple the as that. The sun has burnt them. Do you mean, Russians do you mean are indigenous so Aboriginal Australians, or do you mean... No, I mean normal Australians, whenever you say normal, Australian. Normal? You can't, then you can't say that, you see. Mm. You've just, you just stood in a, in a, a kangaroo pat there <laughs> by saying normal Australians, because the Aboriginal people would regard themselves as normal Australians. They're not, ab, they're not abnormal, they're ab-origine. There's, there's a huge difference. In, in in the word that follows the the word ab. Oh, I saw the golden temple man. Um, we well, just seem to be we, we like don't seem to be able to like say anything anymore. You just can't even open your mouth and Lynn. say I want I want a brown tea. Oh, that's racist. <laughs> I don't know where where, where you go yeah, from Lynn. here. I want a, a weak tea. You know, I want a light brown tea. Oh, you're being racist. No, that's that's that's, 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 that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. That's. Uh, you know, you, you, Lynn, you, you, you are, with greatest respect, being racial at my work. I'm not being racialist. I'd say a tea's brown. But you it's don't know. You, you don't know that you are. That's the thing. It, you, you know, you can't say. It's like you're, what you're saying about asylum seekers the other way week. You know. Well, what did I say about asylum seekers? Rats up a drain pipe. You can't say that. That's appalling. I don't, and I don't agree with those views. I, you know. I was actually thinking that it would be a good idea for Asylum Seekers would be a, a TV show where, you know, a reality TV show, um, Asylum Seekers, and, and you yeah, have to vote to for who the, goes back. Up the, the drain pipe? No, 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 no. You could call it New, 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 seek, new Seekers. New, new, asi new Asylum, asylum Seekers. seekers. Oh, new Asylum Seekers. New Asylum Seekers. You couldn't call it New Seekers because you'd have New Seekers down your yes, back. Yes, you would. Mm. Right. Uh, and the Seekers. Um, down, down the drain pipe, we could call it. That's very good. With the new seek, new asylum seekers. Yeah. He didn't shave that morning. Did you notice? Yes, I think so. Just realised those shorts are quite short, aren't they? your age. I got them in a sale, unfortunately. Yeah. And they had small, medium, or large, and I went, I went for the small. Yes. Sorry about Sorry that. Sorry about that, Alan. Yeah. It was a little thoughtless of me. There's a difference really between, you know, eight ninety nine and twelve ninety nine, and I think that's a big difference. It's a big difference. Um, were, they, were they were they used? The, the shorts? They weren't pre-owned. Well, they were on a rack. But they weren't pre-owned. No, no, shorts. I don't think they no. were. 
Because that, I mean... It's not a cry for help. But, on the other hand, the jacket you're wearing, I spent a fortune on, twenty nine ninety nine. So, there you are. Yeah. Well, you can recondition a jacket. You can't recondition shorts once they've perished. I didn't get them in a the jumble sale, Alan, if that's what you're trying to say. Can you get me some new ones, please? I'm going to have to ring Carol and ask if she'll do the corporate video. Lynn, 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 you speak to him. You speak to him. So... Lynn Benfield, always helping everyone out. Yeah, that's the job you're a PA. Oh, that's, a, that's a boyfriend. It's a good job, uh... Yeah, it's Alan, your lover's husband. Yeah. The immersion heater. <laughs> it's, it's, it's underneath the stairs. Mm. I mean, now that's where your that mother would have said bath. you're being a little thoughtless. Well, yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. Yeah. You noticed? Can you spot the trick? Can you spot what you're doing? Well, I'm, I'm inadvertently garroting you. Would you like to be in Alan's corporate video? Right. She says no and she wants to speak to you. So tell him I'm not here. He's not here. She says she can hear your voice. Um, call her a fat cow then, hang up. Oh, fat cow. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh... Well done, Lynn. Now, before we get up, I'm just going to warn you, I have popped out again. <laughs> um, it, it, it's... It's in, it's in no way connected with our proximity. So just don't turn round. You finished your coffee, Alan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boys are back in the barracks. Are you going off to, um, straight off to the Radio Norwich? Or are you, um, are you going to go home first? I'm, uh, no, I'm going to, uh, look round Selfridges, uh, for an hour. What to do? Hmm? What to do? To take the world. What, to to spend more money. No, I want to buy some of those suede cubes. I could pretend to be your wife. Well, what but are they? That's the new furniture that everyone's buying. Suede cubes. That's incredibly expensive, Alan. I know, but how they, much they are in Selfridges. I know, but they are they're, they're not poofs. That's, no, that's no, they're not yesterday's poofs. footstool. Today's footstool come stool is a suede cube. Uh, well, all I'm going to say is that don't forget you've got your VAT return still to do, haven't you? Because yeah. I'm not doing them. Be this time. Be beige, brown, and uh... very reliable, but uh, she's got a moustache. <laughs> the lady who did that um, brought that plant in at the back. What? Well, the lady who bought that plant in the back, that tree oh, yes, there. Yeah. See, yeah. she made such a fuss about it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's nice. No one's though. allowed to touch it, you know. No. no. Would you settle this month's <laughs> bill, please? Eight pounds mis miscellaneous services. That sounds disconcertingly vague. You use this pay channel. What pay channel is that, Alan? Oh, right, yeah. so that's uh, it's very confusing. a bit of fun. It's a, it's a adult thing. Why is she laughing? Because it. Because. Because. I inadvertently accessed adult adult entertainment. What quiz shows or something? No, adult entertainment. Tanned, muscly people simulating sex by 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 accident right. with um, with streaked hair. Right. Most of them. Well, no wonder she's laughing. Well, if you didn't see it, why then did you pay for it? Because it's because I, I um. Because you were in people, the always, people are always very very keen to point the finger when it comes to uh, there's the, there's the uh, chap from the chewing gum. He's very cool, isn't he? That's what hmm? they say now, isn't it? He's very cool. He's very cool. He's chewing, chewing gum she, now. She I, mean, I think that's why he got the work. Oh, He's yeah. just chewing oh, a bit of gum. Oh, you think that was the idea? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we had a long-term strategy. Yes. That, yes. He's, that's look, very he's chewing clever. gum. Do you think that's clever? You should have chewed I gum. I should have chewed. I know. It. I should have chewed gum. He's the clever. A lot of young people are very clever. They don't miss a trick. Yeah. Um, see, I thought that watch might have got you another ad. Yeah. No. <laughs> No. No, Seco are very secretive about their uh, marketing campaigns. Mm. That cream you've been using, it's it's worked, hasn't it? That cream's it's certainly improved my... Uh, yes. 
Yeah, because the blotchiness has uh, has gone. Yeah. I sometimes wish you'd get rid of that rice crispy on your face. You what, know? what rice crispy? I was thinking about getting a um, substitute wife, and I would really they're just on on the top of your eyebrow. Casting agency, and tell them to get me a forty-year-old mm. scorcher. And, and but it, it would hurt, wouldn't hmm? it? No, they can. What they do is they garrote it. They um, restrict the blood supply to the, the restrict the blood supply to the head, to the eyebrow, and eventually the the polyp. Mole, wart, call it what you will, <laughs> dies and yeah, drops off. Having the pub, getting the beers in. <laughs> that uh, the, that um, that chubby actor with the um, with with the handheld um, thing it doesn't really have. He he. In actual fact, he did have vocal cords. Um, well, why was he doing it then? I could never I understand know. why he I was doing it. I think he was in an episode of Only Fools and Horses. Um, but they didn't invite him back because the character didn't work. Oh. Very moving. Yeah, Alan, this is a, this is a boat video. You know, we're not, we're not making a James Bond movie. Yeah. Interesting, because you do sound like a, a baddie in a James Bond film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to know vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Alan, we, we, we want to keep it simple. Uh, and that, that, that's why we hired you. You're, you're a local fella. You know, that means good... Uh, now, I've seen him subsequently. Yes, his but name is... Yeah, his What's name's his name? Michael Pegg. He's, uh, That's right. He's in a... He has a very... He's got a youth program uh, called Spaced Out, um, which uh, has had, had certain... has got a following amongst um, surfers, internet surfers, uh, skateboarding type people. Oh, right. Skateboarders. Very... Big fans. Skateboarders. Love him. There's the bar, gentlemen. Choose your weapons. What? I'm, I'm offering you a drink. Oh, oh right. now you're talking my language. Well, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Pint of lager. Oh, two lagers. Three, three, three lagers. Yeah. Three pints of lager, right? You, you're in a lager and these two drinks here. God. Yes, yes. Th th these are the chasers. I've never had one of those. God. We've never had uh, a lager and, and gin and tonic and Bailey's Irish cream chaser. No. Yeah, big girls' bras. <laughs> You're trying to impress them, Alan, yeah, by yeah, drinking yeah. Well, I was. I was. And it, 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 I mean, I thought it was, it's a lesson in the perils of of, of drink, drink one-upmanship. Mm. It's, uh, is that why you all went on to drink very heavily after you stopped filming? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, lady boys. <laughs> People slag off people who ingest large amounts of alcohol, but uh, ask Ernest Hemingway and Dylan Thomas what they think of beer. Well, you can't ask them, can no, you? They're they're I know they're dead, but I'm, I'm being figurative, Lynn. What I'm saying is that they would say... They, they would say, um... And, and Hurricane Higgins, you know. Um, but, you know, that, that's what gave him, that's what helped him relax, you know. Yeah, but you don't even know what you're saying now. Yeah, obviously you can take it too far, mm. you know. Go to my room and, uh, Be sick. Lean on the sink. Drink mm. will kill, kill you. Yes, it will. Eventually, you know. I'm gonna cook all the food. <laughs> Alan, this is a hotel. Three star. <laughs> This was uh, a true rendition of a real Alan. phone call. Miss uh, Alan, how are you? You see, that's what you do when Wait. you drink a lot. I you know. phone calls. I it's a vicious circle. I know. I know. You know? Um, I know. I, I mean, rang her up. <laughs> your mother. I say. Everyone says. Me. Do what you want with it. But uh, she's no longer with that uh, that bloke. What happened to him? Um, I think he. I think he went off and joined joined someone else. He joined another woman. Did he? Yeah. Someone who uh I he got he got, I think he got uh I think he either ran off with another woman called Lu Lu 
I can't remember whether he ran off with some woman called Luciana. Right. Or he got leukaemia. I can't remember, one or the other. Let's hope it's the former, Alan. Mm. I, don't, I just remember a, a message on my answer, answer phone a while back. And oh, yeah. I've come to show you how mm. to use your telly. That, um, oh, oh, yeah, sure. that Top Gear were, were annoyed about the, uh, the quote, but in actual fact it was a direct quote from the magazine. CNN. And, uh, you know, yes, he and the Renault began, you know. So I never really recovered from that uh, sting stinging attack. Mm. Mm. So, uh... You could have said, yes, I will, I want it disconnected, but you didn't. <laughs> Just a thought. Do you want me to disconnect it? Yes. OK. There. That's disconnected. Disconnected. Good. Oh, good. So... Now, I thought this was a lovely sight. That was marvellous, yeah. Yes. We're sick everywhere. Are you sick? No, I'm not. What? Mm. Yeah, just certainly uh, first in the queue when God was handing out chests. <laughs> Ooh, I'd love to have it off with her. You know, you offended that one who's got those um, glasses on the top of his head. Yeah. That was his girlfriend that was possible. Oh, right, I didn't realise. No, well, no, you didn't. This is such a good video, this. And uh, I, was, I, ins I said, why don't you show it in its completion? Because this is the genuine one we made. You know, it was one of the... I mean, I think they, they should have showed the whole of the video. Or at least put it on the DVD. Mm, they look angry. Now she's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. This... I mean, the, the, those, those farmers there are... Uh... One, one of those farmers you saw, the one on the far left? Alice mm -hmm. Cooper's nephew. No. Really? Yes. Gosh. Mm. I don't believe you. You're making it up, Alan. No, seriously. That, Alice Cooper's... Well, why would he be a farmer? Like Mark Boland's. It might, it might have been Mark Boland's. Right. Like that. Were you really driving that boat? I was driving it, yeah. I was piloting it. I was... I was, I was um... You're not focusing, though. I, wonder... I am. I am. Uh, it's the same again, you see. You're using one hand on the wheel. It's not a steering wheel, If you wheel, had to then. turn right or turn left, you, it's you not would a, crash in because there's not the control. It isn't a car. Yeah. Lovely, uh, lovely, yeah. It's interesting when I look back mm. at that fried breakfast, I think, you know, if it looks so appetising there and yet that passed through my body years ago and yes. if you could see it now it would look very very different but it wouldn't be there now it's passed through your body no if it, it passed through my body and i preserved it i know that sounds crazy but had i done that mm. um it would uh you know it would it would pass through my body it would have rotted because of the um mm. amino acids in the stomach that mm. uh, plow away at that at that stuff but uh it's funny when you see food and you think it's not like that anymore not like that anymore, Alan. Do you know, it's so funny seeing you in a crap cra cravat. Why? I don't know. It's very odd, because you always wear a tie. I think we made a brilliant decision putting you in a cravat. Mm. You should look like a country gentleman. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Yes, thank you. Mm. Mm. He was a very uptight young man. He was. He's actually quite rude. They were deeply ignorant. They showed a complete lack of understanding of modern agricultural methods. Um and simply served to highlight the sort of intense stupidity that farmers encounter from armchair pundits who forget to think before they open their mouth. But with a full and frank apology that you're about to give this morning, I'm sure you can dig yourself out of this rather ugly hole. Now, he's wearing a red that I don't yeah. like. It's he's, sort of um, chippy red, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Um, do you, have you got any, do you, any requests? Anyone you want to say hello to? Or? Look, I'm just trying to say that when you make ignorant comments like you did the other day, you serve simply to alarm the public mm. and to inflame... I, the I don't think he quite knows what he's saying. No. That's his problem. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely right. 
What are the fool you? Right. You, could, um, uh, you could talk the hind legs off a donkey. Th- uh, this, um, that man's Dave, his real name is a- he's actually a, a, a comic journalist. Uh, is he? Yes, Dave Morris. Dave Morris. Dave Morris. Yes, that and in, sort of rings a bell. In real life, that man is a pervert. And he's on, uh, I think he's on the News of the World Top 100 Wanted list. Alan, I think you're making that up. Because I thought he was an extremely nice young man, actually. He seemed very well, he's, polite. He asked me if I'd like a cup of tea. He, well, he's... He just didn't like you. He's... Uh, he's... A, he's... You know... He looks normal from the outside. But uh, he's not. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the police pursued him for a while, but uh, they couldn't prove anything, so the case was dropped. Oh. Yeah. I find it hard to believe. No, it's like the Kennedy thing. It'll, no one will ever know quite what happened. Mm. We'll ever be able to prove anything. It's all rumour. It's all... It's very much like yeah, little suggestions. Kennedy, Lee Harvey. Um, well, what makes life so frightening is that he, uh, you know, he comes across so normally. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what's really it's frightening the, in yeah. life. It's the who pulled the trigger, who pointed the, you know, the the, the per- perversion. You know, Lee Harvey, Lee Harvey Proctor. No, you complete cretin. I'm just. Um, Yes, I suppose there is an edge of anger there, isn't there? He's very yeah, angry. I think he's angry with himself for being, uh, for being, for being, frankly, downright rude. Mm. But, uh... Why didn't you just say to him then he was being rude? Because he was playing a part in this thing. He's, uh... And there's a nice pond in it. You fill in the pond with concrete. Yeah. You plow the family yeah. to the field. You blow up the tree and use the leaves to make a dress for your wife, who is also your brother. Well done, Alan. Well done. Game set and match mm-hmm. to uh, Alan Partridge. Alan Gordon Partridge. Well, listen, I'll tell you what the point is. Alan G. Partridge. Sheds, but nobody's allowed in. And inside these big sheds are 20 foot high chickens. <laughs> because of all the chemicals you've put in them. And these chickens are scared. They don't know why they're so big. Yes, he's not taking it seriously. He's not taking it seriously at all. No, he's running away like a coward. And yes. He's off. All the other little chickens, yes. And they think they're in an aeroplane because all the other chickens are off so small. Off he lurches. Small. Do you deny that? No. Uh, his silence, I think, speaks volumes. And, and... This was quite clever. Do you agree that everything I've said... Very clever. Far is completely correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you also run over badgers in your tractor for fun. Yes. I mean, I hadn't been listening to the interviews. Yeah, I have not a clue no, what was going no, on. No, you did moment. very well for. Thank uh, you. Well, thank you very much. I mean, it's certainly amateur dramatics standard. I have to go. Oh, yeah, up and down. Yeah. I think you could. I think in, a, in, a, in, a, in an amateur drama, you could play. I can't do the filming today. You could play. Why not? Oh, well, Widow Twanky? Or, um... Oh. Fairy Godmother. Or, uh... Fairy not, Godmother. No, not a Fairy Godmother. You could play... One of the benefits of global um, international terrorism. Uh, more and more people a corpse? In I'll drink to that. Mm. <laughs> in, in a murder mystery, you know. Okay. It's not working, you can tell. Really? <laughs> You should have had me in that part, Alan. And yeah, I don't know. You wouldn't have had think, all the problems. Well, yes, that's true. One of the benefits of global warming and international terrorism. Look at that sweet little duck. Look at that little duck. Yeah, the duck's quack, quack, nice. Quack, 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 quack. Look, there it is. Oh, you're obliterating it now. Yes, yeah, it is nice. Mm. Oh, look, it's following its mummy. That was the best use of it because there, she genuinely looks like a real person on that shot. Oh, of course. She on does. the others, she didn't, but on yes. that, she looks like a woman who's yes. just looking out at the view. Yes. Um, this was, um... Oh, I think you're going to hit your head there. I keep thinking no, that yeah, one, no, I, I, people, people do think uh, it's passing under the bridge. And, uh... Gee, oh, God, every time I see that, it really upsets me because... You know, my... Biscuits, Alan? You know, I, uh... The... the I technically... 
broke my neck because and my t- two of my vertebrae at the upper part of my back are still fused because of that. Wish that man would stop bleating. And that cow was that cow was dead. Um, it died of natural causes before that incident took place. So uh, it was uh, it wasn't it wasn't a real it wasn't a real cow. It was um, it was hollowed out. I mean, they took a dead cow and just hollowed it out and stuffed it with uh, uh, medical cotton wool. Cotton wool. But it's very yeah. convincing. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, that must hurt. No, that, the, the brace, you know, held me in place. Mm. Nicely. Hello and welcome to the Learning Zone, Thursday night into Friday morning on BBC Two. The trouble with that bed head is it's not high enough. Bed head? That bed head at the back, it's not high enough. Headboard? Bed head is a ha- bed head is a haircut worn by young researchers in television who work for production companies like it's Hatchet not. and that Talkback. Is, that's that's the style of hair. No, bed head is the know, style of haircut. Bedhead. That's a headboard. Bed head is the style of haircut of uh, a young ex-public school researcher aged between twenty and thirty who works for a production company in London and goes and drinks in uh, places in Soho. That was one of the biggest stadium bands. I'm Lenfield. And I'm Alan Partridge. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Yeah, all right, that, that was Lynn <laughs> doing uh, me. The, it was a bit of a joke. Not, that, not, well, not really. I'm, I'm obviously Alan Partridge. And I'm obviously Lynn Benfield. And she's Lynn Benfield. It's like, the, it's like the two Ronnies, isn't it, at the end? When yes. they say, good night from uh, me and good night from good night him. Good night from him, um, you and me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. it is, because it is, yeah. uh, Ronnie Barker used to dress up like a woman. No, he didn't. Ronnie Barker did. Why never did he do that? In the two Ronnies. And and you, Malcolm Wise did. And you could have looked like you. You know, he could look. He could have looked a bit like Ronnie Barker dressed as a woman. That was not. Is not a million miles away from you, Lynn. Be fair. Be, to be fair. Oh, hello, Alan. Yeah. Um, I d- it's interesting actually. I did actually. Um, that room. The 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 room that doubles as recording studio. Uh, I did actually. During a recording break, I did actually masturbate in that room. Um, I mean, five, ten years ago, I would never have admitted to that. But um, I believe that it's... I think it, it, honesty is the best policy. Since I came through the breakdown, I've always believed that, that uh, honesty is the best policy. And, uh, and I did actually... It was during a recording break, when uh, a tea break, everyone had retired from the set and... Uh, well, uh, I mean, not everybody could have gone. I mean, I, 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 you could have been caught. No, 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 Lynn, because it was private Very time. Indiscreet. And I did, uh, I, I mean, th- these days I can hold my head high, um, you know, and say, and say, uh, with... with <gasps> and I did actually pleasure myself. Um, and, and I can say that without shame. Um... Although technically, it was, I think, up until 1960, um, onanism, masturbation, um, or, uh, you know... I think, jig, it's, I jig, think jig, you're fine. It's illegal in public. It's not. It's, it's illegal in public. Of that, course it's illegal in public. That illi- was, you were doing it in public. But it's illegal to do lots of private things in public that are quite normal. Def- defecation is illegal in a public place. Well, obviously. But it's perfectly normal. We all do it, Lynn. You take a shit sometimes. Don't deny it. And, uh... And, uh... Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think my was, up until 1960, I did constitute a minor offence. Well, it is offence. It might be offensive in public, but it's not an offence. There's a very subtle difference. Quite disgusting. And, uh... But they, they, they dropped it from the statute books because it was very difficult to prove. I think to, to be convicted of flagrant ma- ma- mas- masturbation, masturbation, you would have to... It had to be witnessed by three uh, sort of pillars of the community, as it were. Um, 
uh, three three people like uh, magistrates, teachers, lawyers. The kind of people have to sign a, a, a photograph for your passport, say it's a true likeness. Those you'd have to have at least three of those people to witness you, um, and I think to witness the actual completion, the actual or orgasm. Um, but that, uh, but that's you know that that, that if, if they were there, they're clearly not going to be. Uh, they're going to be part of the oh, whole Shannon. the whole little charade, aren't they? So they're not going to squeal. So uh, it's unworkable in the end. Although it's still it's still you can although although I think the last successful prosecution was in 1975 in the Isle of Man. A retired uh, a retired deputy head convicted. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's such a smashing jumper. It's a great jumper. Is it silk inlay? Is it's, it like a... It, they're not silk. It's, um, it's a kind of prismic design. Oh. Uh, manufactured by uh, Lyle and Scott or Pringle. I'm not sure which, but they're not available on the mainland. I had to drive to the west of Ireland to buy that sweater. I was surprised they're not when you got it. They're not considered trendy. No, I was not considered surprised. trendy <laughs> by, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, by, by, um, the high street. The right people. Yeah, you know, the, the, mm. yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's fine. She's wearing the same necklace. I can't get over it. Same. Uh, very, very limited mm. jewellery. Oh. That's uh, the guy with the chewing, chew, the guy chewing gum. It's not, it's not chewing gum, he wants to be chewing there. Yes. Oh, he's got something else in his mind, doesn't he? Yes. Uh, cheese, cheese sandwich. Right, okay. And cooked meat. And a hot egg. <laughs> and a crescent of crisps, <laughs> a side clump of Why crisps. are you doing that, Alan? Doing that just now. to prevent, no, no, because no, in this no, depiction, no, I was showing what happened when, I don't like to see, I don't mind what hotel staff do in the privacy of their own time, but it, uh, when I'm, right. when I'm paying to stay in a three-star hotel, you don't expect that kind of behaviour. I no, expect, right. you know, I don't, I, don't, mm. I, I expect clean, Sexual behaviour. Mm. I love pan pipes. Do you know who I've just discovered? What's the that? Gypsy Kings. Aren't they good? Aren't they good? I don't know them. Oh, they're fantastic. They're what, uh, what sort of sound are they? Well, they're Lots sort of, of pan pipes. Uh, they clap their hands like mad in the middle of a song, which sounds crazy, but it works. And they. Uh, Can you and dance to them? They are. They used to be technically gypsies. You know, they used to drive around in the old. Uh, multicolored uh, caravans with horses but these days they've probably got uh, they're not just a pop group BMWs um, but they still travel to gigs and uh, yeah they use they use canastas and ca canacas clackers what's canastas then they're, it's a gay it's a it's a clappers and uh, they use small miniature guitars they wear um you making this up? No, no, no. They, they, they are called the Gypsy Kings. They're no more gypsies than they are kings. It's the name of the band, you know. But they, but they, but they do that. That, that Gypsy King sums up the kind of music they play. They're very much. Um, they, uh, you know, I mean, if they, if they were in a caravan now, it'd be in a Starkis caravan, you know. Right. And What's a Starkis? Is it a brand name? That's it. No, it's Starkis Hotel. Uh, is what they would. Uh, what are you talking about, Alan? The Gypsy Stop Kings. The Gypsy Kings. Oh right, sorry. Oh, look at they're at it. Yeah, they are. Uh... Yeah, they were. Uh... Were they actually going out as actors together? Uh, they don't think they were going out as actors together, but um, and it, that's not for me to say. That's their personal. I don't think. I think they were fond of each other, but I don't think intercourse took place. No, I did change that to um, bad attitude. It's uh, interesting to notice that Top Gear magazine you just previously just saw on the side table, um, the, 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 the byline was that there was an article on the Ford Puma. And the irony is that Ford have discontinued the Puma. So, you know, sometimes you think, what's the point? Mm. I asked the so in, in, in the interim, in the intervening years, Ford had discontinued the Puma, despite its moderate success. Right. Yeah, Do you know but, what? Uh, I asked that designer if I could have that lamp at the end of the uh, series. Did, did he give you it? Stuffed. 
Did they give you one? No, he told me to get stopped. Said I was a cheapskate. Really? Mm. You should have uh, smashed it over his head. You should have smashed it over his head mm. and took the uh, took the wire and uh, stuck it in his neck. Look at Roger looking at you, watching yeah. every move you make. Yeah. <laughs> I always feel like, like when I wander around that bedroom that like Roger Moore's eyes are following me around <laughs> the room, which is yes. Uh, which actually, as I say, not a not an unpleasant sensation. Hmm. Skin's looking bad again. Yeah. Did you use that mask thing that I gave you? What? The mask thing I gave you. Mask. Yes, the the um the poor mask thing I gave you. Po Did you use it? What? Did you use it? Use a uh, mask. Why would I yes, use a mask? A poor mask, Alan. A poor mask. Yes, Alan, for your paws. Oh, I see. I think I'm a mask that made me look poor. <sighs> Yeah, like a like it's a, a green like a thing. You put Victorian a green Victorian like Smike or something. A mask of no, Smike. No. And what I meant was a, a green cream over your skin to try and take those that those spots away. So no, I have no, I haven't worn it. Again. No, I haven't worn it. I haven't worn well, it. It's very no. silly. Can you see that spot just beneath your eye? Can you see it? It's not a spot. It's a boil. Well, that's what it. Mm. The lamp's cockeyed there. You should have spotted mm. that. And rectified it. And look, the phones that lead to the scene. Mm. And that's not a nice shot. We're looking right at your nostrils. Mm. You've not got the prettiest of nostrils. No. I mean, they're manly, but they're not. They're all. Are they okay? Yes, they're okay, Alan. That one looks slightly s squashed. My nostril on the left, a bit mm. like Michael Jackson's, but not nowhere near as bad, obviously. But uh, certainly, it looks like I've had some augmentation work on my nose, which I haven't. Although I did have my teeth modified, the my front yes, two said. front two incisors are longer than the series of I'm Alan Partridge. How did you do that? Is it painful? Do they pull no, the well, teeth? no, they no, they were filed down by a qualified uh, dental Ooh, engineer. I would hate that. Do they inject you for that? They inject you with mercury in your gums to quieten you down. Get some uh, windscreen washer fluid. Anyone, uh, anyone want to join me? It was like, uh, very eerie that. It was very like The Shining, I felt, that, uh, that mm. uh, depiction of the hotel. It's, yes, it's, uh, it's sinister. Very sinister, mm. yeah. Well, that the, wonderful cut to the, the motorway. Yeah. I always get very nostalgic when I see that stretch of dual carriageway because uh, since that was shot, they've widened it and uh, gave it an extra, an extra lane either side. Is that side. because of the series? No, I mean the series is nothing. No, why would they widen? Why would they widen a dual carriageway? Because it's been featured in a series. Well, you made it well known, didn't you? Lynn, if you were a man, sometimes I'd say you were a dick. Well, you know, but you're not. Um. Um. Fancy a pint later on? Thanks. No, neither do I. Thank you. Why did you ask him for a pint and you don't know because him? Because it was a day that it was a day. A, a, yeah. A dick ass, that's what I should have called it. What do you mean a dick ass? What's that going to do? Saying it before, I was being rude. That was, that was a particularly, it was one of those, it was a d particular day when I had very little to do and we wanted to capture the essence of Nothingness, as it were. I was a bit bored. Copy of Auto Express to my right there. <laughs> I, uh, I can't put it back together again. Um, will, will that show up on my bill? <laughs> right, thanks. Hmm. I, I, I asked if I could have that bedspread after the series, but uh, they burnt it. Why did they burn it? Hi hygiene reasons. They couldn't insure against uh, infestation. The, B the BBC has a massive infestation of uh, carpet mites. But they keep it very harsh harsh. That's, um, I, I thought that's when you he starts to lead you astray, Michael. When he was? When Michael used to start leading you astray. Yes. All that army. No, army teams, yeah. 
Yes. The army's great for tra training people to kill on behalf of the country. Don't get me wrong, Len. But, um, but when people come out of the army, some of them kill themselves and some of them get in fights where they assault people. That's because they don't... rubbish, Alan. Is it? Not all people from Not the all. army I didn't say come out, all. go out I didn't and say kill. All. I didn't say all. Sentence. I said some of. I said some of. You stated it as a fact. Some of them as do. That's it. Some of them do.